How far on no make I the beginning and the end. We lift your name one eye because you reign forevermore. You are worthy of our glory on our praise forevermore. All of that God you reign, you made the heavens. Hallelujah. Woo! It's another Friday and we're back here on Akia TV. We love you and we thank you for always joining us today. Please tell somebody because it's a wonderful edition. But it is a special one because... We are not singing today, but we're bringing you a word of encouragement in a time like this. It's hard, but it's good to be alive. And it's good to remember that God loves you. And God is still faithful to reward hard work. He's still faithful to reward diligence. He's still faithful to reward every kind of obedience to him. So we are taking our text this week. We're looking at Matthew 25 from verse 14 to verse 28. Because the time like this, the enemy will come and give us reasons to become lazy. And give us reasons to become even wicked. But this is not a time for wickedness. It's not a time for laziness. It's a time for work. Because it, Jesus gave a parable of a master who had a plan to travel far away on a journey. And because he's a good master, he never thought of leaving the people just like that. But he gave them talent. He gave the other one five, he gave the other one two, and he gave the one that he knew could only work with one, just one talent. Amazingly, the one that received five worked very hard, traded with everything he was given and made five more. And the one that was given two, did the same thing, worked very hard, multiplied the two, and it became four. But unfortunately, there was this guy who had so much reasons not to work again. Sometimes we are waiting for God's blessings, and yet we're not working hard. Sometimes we're waiting, we're waiting for God's promises, and we're not doing the part that we are supposed to do. And this guy had reasons. He said, my master is wicked. My master is a vehicle man. He likes ripping where he's not so. Well, you see, the master returned, and there was time for a reward. So please don't wait for rewards without working. Don't wait for growth without working. Don't wait for multiplication without working. Don't wait for fruitfulness without working. The times are hard, but that is not enough excuse to stop working. And at the end of it all, the one that never worked, his talent was given to the one that multiplied five. What do you think about that? So in a time like this, never let anything discourage you. And so I just want to use the opportunity to thank every one of us, particularly the Christopher and family and all our wonderful viewers. Those of you that have been working while waiting for that big miracle. Those of you that have been working while waiting for that thing that God has spoken concerning you, that promise. You, because I, the idea of the kingdom, the world will tell you something else, but the idea of the kingdom is for you to keep working on that which you'll be given to do until the master oh look here a day is coming that great day is coming now you're working you're preparing yourself you're building capacity you're building capacity for that great faith because you know what the bible says if you're not faithful in little who will trust you with much and the bible says that a man diligent show me a man diligent at his work he will one day stand before great men and so that's why when somebody is, is looking at us and is wondering what are these people doing, why, why are they doing what they are doing? The reality is that if you're trusting God for the big thing to happen, you have to continue to work on that small thing that is in your hand right now. That's why the prophet asked the widow, he said, what do you have in your house? They want to take your sons, what do you have in your house? He said, a little jar of oil, oh, so who? Go get those vessels, because with that little jar of oil, something will happen. And something happened, a miracle happened. That oil filled all the borrowed jars and she never remained the same. So please, this is not a time for laziness. This is not a time to turn to wickedness. As a Christopher, you cannot afford to give up. You cannot afford to stop working. So I just want to appreciate all the people that are trying and doing more and recording more songs. We, we have to keep growing our souls. We have to keep bringing those, those heavy, you know, lyrical content. You see, so don't stop thinking. Let something keep inspiring you. And let's, let's get inspired by that one more soul that you want to touch. Get inspired by that one more impact that you want to make. Get inspired by, get inspired by that one more thing you want to leave for a generation that is yet unborn. Get
get inspired by that thing that you will meet with the Lord face to face and you'll be glad you did while you are here. So please, it's not the time to look only around the situations that we have that we are made to see but it's the time to look at the bigger picture so we are looking at the bigger rhythm of light in 2023 we're looking at a bigger event we're looking at something bigger because why because we have faith that as we continue the lord will help us to go from glory to glory from strength to strength and so please today is just the day of encouragement and i want to believe that you have heard something that will make you go back to work just those songs just that thing that you are trying to drop and get back to work hallelujah so join us again next time next week friday same time 1 p.m here in our PR tv so we are bringing you another wonderful episode next week but i want you to be inspired this week and by my, my, my next week you should be thanking the lord that you didn't miss today's edition Thank you so much. Thank you, Akria TV. Thank you, Akria. Please keep sharing, subscribing, making your comments, and then tell the world this good thing that we're bringing from Nigeria to the world. Thank you.